Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Thursday, April the 7th, 2011. It's year one, Lent four, and week six of the psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 105, verse 1 to 22. Jeremiah 22, verse 13 to 23. And Colossians chapter 1, verse 12 to 20. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O oh, sing to Yahweh, sing praise, tell all God's wonderful works. Psalm 105 Give thanks and acclaim God's name, and make known God's deeds among the peoples. Sing to Yahweh, sing praise, tell all God's wonderful works. Be proud of God's holy name, let the hearts that seek Yahweh rejoice. Consider Yahweh who is strong, constantly seek God's face. Remember the wonders of Yahweh, the miracles and judgments pronounced. O children of Abraham, God's servant, O children of Jacob, the chosen, this is Yahweh, our God, whose judgments prevail in all the earth. God remembers the covenant forever, the promise for a thousand generations, the covenant made with Abraham, the oath that was sworn to Isaac. God confirmed it for Jacob as a law, for Israel as a covenant forever, and said, I am giving you a land, Canaan, your appointed heritage. And when they were few in number, a handful of strangers in the land, when they wandered from country to country, from one kingdom and nation to another, God allowed no one to oppress them, and admonished kings on their behalf. Do not touch those I have anointed. Do no harm to any of my prophets. But God called down a famine on the land and broke the staff that supported them. God had sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. His feet were put in chains and his neck was bound with iron until what God said came to pass and the word of Yahweh proved him true. And then Pharaoh set and released him, the ruler of the peoples set him free, making him master of his house and ruler of all he possessed, to instruct his princes as he pleased and to teach his elders wisdom. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, sing to Yahweh, sing praise. Tell all God's wonderful works. The lesson is from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 22, beginning at verse 13. Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness, and his upper rooms by injustice, who makes his neighbors work for nothing, and does not give them their wages who says, I will build myself a spacious house with large upper rooms, and who cuts out windows for it, paneling it with cedar, and painting it with vermilion. Are you a king because you compete in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink and do justice and righteousness? Then it went well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy. Then it went well. Is not this to know me, says Yahweh? But your eyes and heart are only on your dishonest gain, for shedding innocent blood and for practicing oppression and violence. Therefore thus says Yahweh concerning King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, They shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, my brother, or Alas, my sister. They shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, Lord, or Alas, his majesty. With the burial of a donkey he shall be buried, dragged off and thrown out beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry out, lift up your voice in Bashan, cry out from Abiram, for all your lovers are crushed. I spoke to you in your prosperity, but you said I will not listen. This has been your way from your youth, for you have not obeyed my voice. The wind shall shepherd all your shepherds, and your lovers shall go into captivity. And then you will be ashamed and dismayed because of all your wickedness, 
O inhabitants of Lebanon, nested among the cedars, how you will groan when pangs come upon you, pain as of a woman in labor. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. In peace we pray to you, Lord, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families and friends and neighbors, for this community, this nation, and the whole world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace, for the just and the proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick and the friendless and the needy. For peace in Jerusalem and unity in the church. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For Joe and Tom and Alan and for all of our church leaders. For all who serve God in the church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. For the unemployed, especially Bill and Robert and James. In thanksgiving for a job for Brian. For the sick, especially Stephen Michael and Melody and Annabelle. And for a cancer cure. For the aged and infirm, especially Marjorie and Judith. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Give thanks to Abba God, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. A canticle from the letter to the Colossians. Give thanks to Abba God, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. God rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in Christ all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through Christ and for Christ. Christ is before all things, and in Christ all things hold together. Christ is the head of the body, the church. Christ is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in Christ are all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. And through Christ God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Give thanks to Abba God, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of of the saints in the light. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.